Mohamed, Dr. Mukris Dunmade, Deputy Minister, Ministry of International Trade and Industry, Mr. Stuart Forbes, Executive, Executive Director, Malaysian International Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Captain Samuel Salom, Co-Chairman, Global Coalition for Official Logistics, or GCEL, Dr. Mark Rabinstot, Secretary General of GCEL, Dr. Go Mohing, President, BCM Institute, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> uh, good afternoon and salam to Malaysia. During the MSC Malaysia Implementation Council meeting last week, our Prime Minister, Yama Brahman, Dr. Srinath Tunraza, endorsed MSC's vision of an innovative Malaysian digital economy which includes the infusion of technology across all economic sectors in driving productivity and innovation as well as ICT empowerment as a source of national competitive advantage. Thus, in line with the innovative digital economy vision, uh, we at MDEC are poised to enter phase three of the MSC Malaysia program, which will now not only look into the further development of, as uh, Mr. Stuart Fox said, the entire national city industry, but will also implement innovative ICT to make our economies, trade and commerce capabilities to be globally competitive in this 21st century. We at MDA recognize that the government can play a vital role in catalyzing the usage of new technology, but that, but that ultimately the private sector must drive results. We also recognize how critical trade has been um, and will continue to be for Malaysia's economy advancement. It is precisely for all these reasons that we are especially pleased to participate in this Human Wealth Awareness event. We certainly share GSL's vision that innovation must be the cornerstone for economic progress and index very charter aligns with GCEL's spirit of engaging the best of both worlds from the public and private sectors to produce results. But what I am especially excited about is the potential for the Human Wealth Program to use both technology and a bold new global business strategy to connect businesses around the world in a way that is desperately needed. Some time ago, when I was Daganet's CEO, I had first-hand experience in realizing the benefits of using technology to make trade, the trade pipeline more efficient. Uh, Daganet's e-permit services reduced the time to process and issue approved permits, or APs, from a few days down to less than 15 minutes, and our customers gladly pay for that service. This certainly helped in reducing, somehow, in the course of cross-border trade. We were also the ones who started the ball, well, not actually we, but Dagonet, were the ones who started the ball rolling on the development of Malaysia's digital national single window of trade. But what I also realize is, though, is that trade is truly global, and Malaysia cannot by itself create the efficiencies in trade and commerce that are needed alone. And no matter how many economies or countries put up their own national single windows, the potential full optimization of global trade cannot be achieved without a larger and global digital soft infrastructure that further aligns the digital trade processes of the various economies, further speed up international trade and ultimately drive down the cost of trade even further. And as the video showed us earlier, the potential is astounding, up to $700 billion potential, right? And I merely, but then, I merely left it at that, at that then. Until a few weeks ago, when I met the GCEL representatives and showed me what they were doing. So from what I have learned, GCEL is providing a truly global digital trade platform through the Global Logistics Systems, or GLS, and its carefully selected global network of technology, finance, and insurance gateways. This represents a bold leap forward in the vision that, uh, that Daganet foresaw and MSC Malaysia is spearheading. It is also proof of the innovating that GSEL does. 
innovation takes many forms. We often think it involves mostly technology, but innovation also involves identifying better ways of doing business, and GSAL's Shimmer Wealth program combines the best of both worlds of innovation. Somewhere in the scheme of things, Malaysia's SMEs and large corporations will ultimately be a beneficiary by having better access to global markets, which in turn will make them grow locally and increase local investments. It is for these reasons that MDEC strongly supports GSL's global initiative. The MS in Malaysia Summit 2010 began yesterday and will continue for the rest of this week. The summit theme is harnessing the innovative digital economy. It is a significant coincidence that this human work program by GCEL is also taking place within the same week. We look forward to partnering with GCEL in the future and we look forward to leveraging on GCEL's success to help Malaysia drive the ongoing transformation of its economy. After all, innovation is what today's economic progress is all about. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.